The backstory of mutants who have little cameos in the X-Men franchise. So again in that stinker last stand, the Omegas have a girl who says literally nothing but stands behind people with all the speaking parts. It's Philippa Sontag aka Arclight, played by Amira Mota. She has her overly gelled hair and fishnet vest looking all mean and broody. She literally walks into Storm's flying spinning double lariat in a later scene. So far a pretty ineffective hench person. We don't see her again really until the Battle of Alcatraz where we finally get to see her use her power. She does these Hulk style thunderclaps that I think Amira does a good job of acting out. They're kind of like a sonic boom, my favourite move in Street Fighter 2. Oh, that's my third Street Fighter 2 reference in three videos, what am I doing? Next up she's looking pretty intimidating, again nothing to say though that would cost too much to the producers. She's pretty casual in this next scene about straight up murdering Warren Worthington Sr by chucking him off a building. And then finally when Phoenix goes hardcore she's vaporised. So long Arclight we barely knew ye. In the comics Philippa Sontag has a bit more of a story. She was an army veteran who was recruited by Gambit to join the Marauders. More on them in a bit. Power wise yes she's got the shockwaves as well as some super strength and durability. So originally part of the Marauders, they got famous by murdering the Morlocks, nice peaceful mutants who were unfortunate enough to look super weird so they lived underground. And Arclight bloody loved killing them most out of all the Marauders, lovely. Afterwards she even gives Colossus a run for his money as well. But mainly throughout her comic book history she's just been killed loads. Luckily Mr Sinister could clone all the Marauders though so it never stops her for long. She also goes through a phase of having some lovely purple hair and shades, painfully 90s. So she and the Marauders died during the Inferno storyline. She was killed by Riptide who was being controlled by the X-Man Nate Grey. She was also killed by Harpoon who she killed at the same time while being controlled. Chamber, more on him later, killed her once with a load of other Marauders burning them to a crisp because he thought they went and killed more of those innocent Morlocks again. Magneto once killed her because of the Morlock thing, they really shouldn't have done it. And then most recently her one time lover Scalp Hunter killed her because she'd been corrupted by the X-Men writers have a bondage fetish character Madeline Pryor, meaning that Arclight could be finally resurrected again on Krakoa. So that's Arclight, not the biggest role in the comics, basically some fodder to be killed over and over again. Let us know your favourite little mutant cameo in the franchise. For now though I'm Danny Baker, this is Six Degrees and next up Azazel. <laughs>